So in order to set up the receiver, uh, well, let me just go through a couple of things first. This is the ports tab, how I have it set up. So serial RX is enabled on UART3. And in configuration, you want to make sure that serial bus or serial based receiver and S bus is enabled if you have the FR Sky receiver. Um, my board handles DSHOT 300 pretty well, and I have the VBAT set up and 4K and 4K uh, for the gyro and PID loops. All right. So you want to make sure you have fail safe turned on and you want throttle on hold. And you want uh, you want it to drop, not land. And uh, set this uh, guard time to five, which is a half a second. So it can have a half a second of interruption if you're signal comes back then it won't uh, go into fail safe mode. All right. So in receiver this is my uh, channel map that I have to use for everything to work properly. which I don't have it plugged in to a power source right now. And uh, this is how I have my switches set up. So aux one, I have set to arm and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and plug a power source in. So these will actually move so I can show you oh, it's gonna okay all right so uh, this is going to be the top right switch um, it's a three position switch. So this is the top position, set it to aux 1 for arm, top position won't be armed, middle position won't be armed, slide this bar all the way over to the right, um, and all the way down on the switch uh, will we'll arm your quad, so most important one. Alright then, I set up angle and horizon mode and FPV angle mix. Uh, this is the top left switch, so these are all aux 2, and basically um, you don't have to set yours up like this, but uh, I like mine to, at the very top position to be an FPV angle mix. If you wanted to start out in uh, just a standard stabilized angle mode, then you'd want, uh, you'd want this bar all the way over here. But since I want to start off in FPV angle mix, this is the top position. Um, then I, I switch the left switch down to the middle. It goes into horizon, which is a stabilized mode that allows you to have like flips and stuff. I don't really use this much, but some people might. Um, I could switch into this if I got in a bind in acro mode to uh, quickly level out. And then... If I switch it all the way down, I go into straight up angle mode, uh, which is the safest, most stabilized mode. And you want to make sure this little yellow dot uh, corresponds to your switch position. So, And then my top left uh, switch I have set as my beeper. If you don't have a beeper installed, then you won't need to set up channel 7 on your radio uh, and I think you have to have VBAT also 
but you may just work just hooking the beeper up to the beeper spot. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so that's aux 3, aka channel 7. Aux 2 is channel 6, so 3 position. Now I could have multiple, more. I could have more positions for aux 1 uh, if I wanted to, but I don't really know of any reason to do that. Um, probably should have failsafe enabled here, but I just disarm. So that's my settings, and uh, this will get you flying with your Trinus QX7. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So make sure you save. after you have this set up and uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you guys suggest to have uh, enabled here or changes or uh, if you can uh, provide any valuable input that'd be great thumbs up and uh, like the video if uh, you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks talk to you guys later bye